Uh, and so we desperately need uh, to have men and women like John LeBeau and the legislature who can stand up and fight for fiscal discipline, fight for the tax cuts that the people of Massachusetts voted for. And he brings some real life experience to the job. Not only, not only has he been a select, he reminds me a little bit of myself, a selectman, a family has a small uh, business in his hometown. That's good training for going into government, for going into the state legislature. You've all seen the work he's done as a Shrewsbury selectman. And you know, as a small businessman, he understands what it is to meet a payroll. I remember when I used to help out at my dad's dealership as a, just, a, just a young boy. I remember how important Fridays were when people got their paychecks. And I know that that's how they supported their families. And they could have a decent life in our state. Uh, John fundamentally understands that. And he's going to bring those values. And he's going to fight for the people of this district, make sure their taxes are low, and that they can have a good standard of living uh, in, in these times. So I'm very proud uh, to be here with John tonight. I want to thank all of you for your, your great support. Uh, I'm upbeat. I've been out campaigning for Republican uh, candidates across the state. I think that we're going to add some seats in the House and in the Senate. And I think this will be one of the ones we add in the Senate, because I think we have an outstanding candidate with great support here. And that will send a clear signal to the people of Massachusetts that the party is alive and well. Uh, and then I think we'll be in great shape uh, to take the governor's office back in the 2010 election. But I want you all to remember in, the le in these last few weeks that John is going to keep ringing doorbells and getting everywhere in the district, but he needs your help. Bumper stickers, standout signs, and just talking. Reminding your family members and your friends and your co-workers that one-party government is bad. Uh, we've got to restore some balance up, up at the State House. And if you all do that, if you all work hard over the next uh, three and a half weeks, we're all going to be happy uh, when we wake up on the morning of November 5th, because we're, we're going to be saying hello to Senator John LeBeau. Huh?